In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to take you inside my mind and not only show you what I do in a live online match, but I'm going to show you why I do what I do. And maybe you can learn something from both my successes and my failures in this live online match of Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you don't know what my channel is about. My channel is all about helping you get better at Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball, I would highly encourage you uh, to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. We upload videos every single day at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so you don't want to miss those videos. So be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button. All right, guys. So coming out here, I'm in my trips tight end offense. Now, this is uh, kind of my New England Patriots offensive ebook. So if you want to pick up the offense that you're seeing me run um, in this video, that offense is linked in the description of this video. So you can pick it up right there um, and be able to get all the plays and all the breakdowns. And in my opinion, it's the best offense um, in Madden 21. So you don't want to miss it. Go ahead and pick that up. But coming out in my new favorite play from this formation and, and what's cool is the more that I use this and the more that you use any offense obviously um, the more you're going to learn about it and the more that you're going to be able to um, specialize in it and understand it and so you're going to see that I'm going to work a lot out of trips tight end another formation that I really like to use is U trips depending on certain situations um, and just different things that the defense might do. Uh, I'll audible to U trips. I'll stick and you know I'll do all kinds of different things from this formation. But all in all, this is truly one uh, one of my favorite formations in the entire game, just for the simplicity of everything that you can do from trips tight end, um, Y trips, all of these formations. These are just phenomenal, phenomenal packages, and you can really work them up the field. Now, one of the things that this guy is doing a lot in this first. Um, this first little sequence of plays here is you'll notice that he's running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage on me. And so that's not lost on me. Um, obviously, I can see it's a lot of press man, pretty much every single play. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to PA Dig Fork. And what's really nice is if you have a 90 um, route runner or higher, that, that route is going to absolutely torch uh, press man-to-man -man coverage. So we're able to go to that press man-to-man -man coverage beater, beat him over the top with a one-play touchdown from our ebook and get out into a seven nothing head start. Now, really quick, if you have not already picked up the ebook, I do wanna talk about the fact that my text message members, which is completely free for you to join, all you have to join to join my text message membership is just text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and it's also in the description of this video. But my text members received a free um, one-hour sample formation from this New England ebook. And so if you are watching this and you would like to receive that same uh, sample formation, or maybe you're a text member and for whatever reason you didn't receive the text message, just go ahead and shoot me a text message and let me know you'd like to receive that sample formation, and uh, I will shoot you a text back with the link to that. And of course, you can ask me uh, any questions you want about the ebook itself. Okay, so just shoot me a text and let me know what's up. All right, as far as defense goes, um, I'm still running my 4-6 defense, which is also in the description. Um, you can pick that guide up as well as my Madden 21 uh, competitors bundle guide. But uh, but basically what we're going to be doing here is a lot of 3-3-5 three, three, uh, and a lot of 3-3-5 three, three, uh, Y. Those are my two main go-to formations out of this. And basically what we try to do is uh, I have three defensive line cams. So I don't blitz a lot because I feel like I get pretty good pressure as is. Uh, but what I do, and I'm not, I thought Deion Sanders might have been able to get that. He wasn't able to, which is okay. Uh, and it looks like this guy's going to do a lot of rolling out with Russell Wilson, so we're going to have to get a plan for that. But pretty much what I like to do is just kind of keep everything in front. I don't like to give up the big play with this offense or with this defense. Uh, and I feel like if you, as long as you don't give up the big play with this, um, you'll be pretty okay uh, with pretty much anything, no matter what they're going to do. Now it looks like he's going to try to hit me over the top, and he actually is able to do it. I felt like I should have got a pick. It might have been a bad user by me, but. So he's going right down on me as well. As you can see here, as his top right gamer tag it says manned up. So probably going to see a lot of man to man coverage from him. Now, when people go down to the single back doubles, um, one of the things you definitely want to be on the lookout for um, is this bubble screen. So we're going to go ahead and pass commit and we're going to use a rush if he tries to go out here. 
Um, and there you see we're going to shoot that gap very easily from the 3-3-5 wide, one of the best run defenses in Madden, um, and we're going to be able to, uh, to get through there. Now we're going to use that same shoot. Uh, I probably should have used a rush. I didn't. He's going to be able to get over me with that escape artist and does a really good job. Um, right there, there's probably a mistake by me not to go ahead and use a rush up the A gap um, because of the fact that he's under center. Um, so good drive by him. Really not a good drive by me defensively. We gave up way too many you know, easy plays, I would say. So we just got to clean that up uh, going forward. But 7-7, seven to seven, we'll just keep driving, um, get back into that New England offense. I feel like the offense truly is one of the best offenses um, in the game, if not the best offense. I feel like it's almost impossible to stop it um, as long as you make the correct read. Obviously, if you make the incorrect read, um, you know, you could throw interceptions and things like that, just like any offense um, can. But I really feel very confident that, you know, with the way this offense works, it's going to be hard to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to go to Pat's white in because it allows me an opportunity to beat man-to-man -man coverage on both sides of the formation here. Now he might shift into like some cover three, um, and it looks like he's going to, and we're going to go ahead and almost throw an interception. That's actually a really bad read. And I think he's running a Seahawks theme team. Now he's running 3-3-5 three, three, odd. Obviously with 3-3-5 three, three, odd, you do have to worry about that pressure. Basically, the way you handle the pressure is you put your tight end on the same side as the linebacker, and that'll pretty much deal uh, with the pressure that you're going to face. So again, looks like he's going to stay in that cover three uh, style defense. Obviously, he's a you know a big time fan of this team. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the gun bunch, and we're just going to leverage this Pat sale play. Um, if he's going to be sitting in cover three a lot, we're just going to simply run this. Um, and we'll take our tight end and just try to get up field here, air truck our way up the field. We weren't able to get a first down, unfortunately, so we're going to have to go for this on fourth and one. Um, whoops, of course, and we got auto-picked. I, I hate when that happens. I don't know why they make you choose coach suggestions on fourth down. I think it's the like dumbest thing in the world. But um, as far as offense here, we're just going to take a peek at this inside zone. Um, obviously, he's gonna. Looks like he's gonna go man coverage across the board here. Um, hmm. To be honest, I really want to try for a big play, but we're going to keep it relatively simple. Motion Brown over on a fade, and then we're gonna have these routes on this backside here. So if he's running man to man coverage, uh, we should be able to hit that route. And he swats me, so good job by him. I'm surprised he was able to get that swat, but that's okay. So we're going to get back on defense here and make a play. We actually put ourselves in a really, really bad position uh, with that. I probably should have went to U-Trips, honestly. Um, and let's see here. Looks like he's going with the corner. And he almost threw me a pick right there, I feel like. Uh, but he ends up throwing away. So as far as that, I got my zone drops back at 20. So I just want to check that real quick just to make sure... Uh, that we have that. And he had that tight end again. He's, he's, he's really liking this playmaker stuff. So what I'm going to have to start doing um, just to kind of put that to an end is uh, we're going to have to start spying a guy. We're just going to click that spy in. I'm just going to take this guy right here. And he hits the delay fade. Okay, good job. I don't know where my spy was on that play. I'm like beyond uh, frustrated. So what we're going to start doing, uh, just because I'm tired of the rollout stuff, is we're going to blitz heavy here. We're going to go into a little bit of a blitz mode um, out of 3 through 5. I don't know about that. We had a hard flat out there, and he threw it right at us. And we're going to use a rush right up the A-gap. We have a guy right out there. That's got to be a sack. Thank you very much. And we're going to force him to have to take his three. That's what I'm talking about with under center stuff. When they start trying to throw and do all this stuff with 
you know, rolling out of the pocket and all that stuff, you know, you just, you've got to find a way to keep him in the pocket, um, in my opinion. Obviously, he wants to get out of the pocket. He wants to playmaker his routes up over my zone drops, which 100% makes sense. Um, another thing that we're going to have to do uh, is we'll probably go to a little bit more man-to-man -man coverage as well. Um, just with kind of based on what his routes are doing. He's running a lot of like, I feel like routes I could use her um, for the most part. Uh, especially if we're able to keep him from getting out of the pocket. I find that being the key thing. Um, offensively, we kind of had a letdown drive. Uh, I, I just felt like we, we did not do a good job on offense. Um, if you know, he kind of shifted and went to zone coverage, and I think we missed a couple reads, and you know, just not a good look. So we got to get back out here and kind of answer a little bit here. Um, now he's he's really liking to run this cover three. So what we're gonna do is just kind of keep. Just see what this see if this can torch this cover three. It should be able to. Um, he does a good job of using that middle safety, which is actually pretty smart from a cover three this year. Um, so it makes me feel like Pat Sale could be a really good play out of the bunch to go to, uh, just depending on what he's going to do. Uh, so we are we're going to go ahead and go to Pat Sale. Now the one issue is. We're going to have to flip it. So we're going there. And looks like he could be sending pressure off this side. So uh, I don't know what Brett Favre, that took, that ball took way too long to get over to him. That was way too risky. I don't know why that ball took so long to get over there. So he's just kind of giving us the flats on both sides. So we'll have to just take that for right now. Got, what we got, a minute 25 left here. And really, you know, what you want to do, we're actually going to go into the the, um, the U trips formation. Uh, and the main reason we're going to go into this formation right now is just because you know, just to kind of clean things up a little bit. I feel like our offense has been a little bit off. Um, there's Tyreek Hill coming across. Cam Chancellor actually makes a really good play. I don't know why his cover three, it shouldn't be doing what it's doing. I don't know why he's having so much success with it. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to figure that out. But we're going to go to the same play. There we go. So that's what I'm talking about with his with his user on that side. It's just it's just kind of it's just kind of you know honestly it's just kind of not not the greatest look for him in my opinion. Um, but right here it looks like he's going to shift. Uh, we'll just take this back out of the backfield, get the ball up the field a little bit, get out of bounds. Uh, we still have we still feel good about where we're at here. We've got 18 seconds now. If he doesn't hard flat on this left side, we can take this little bubble screen. Um, so we're just going to look at it here, and, and man, Leroy Glover just ate our lunch. That is the best play that I've seen by any defensive tackle in this game this season. By far an amazing play. Um, and it puts us in a tough position here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to drive post. But what I'm hoping is I'm hoping that he goes to I'm hoping that he goes to some type of man-to-man um, uh, -man coverage. But we're going to try something a little bit different here. We're going to put our running back on a Texas route, motion him out. So we have a little bit of a five-wide scheme here. But if he goes zone on this left side, and he does, we're going to hit that streak right in behind that zone coverage. And that's what I was anticipating because he's running so much. He's either running cover three or he's running press man. And, you know, it's pretty much Seattle Seahawks meta scheme. And obviously he's a big-time Seahawks fan. He has a Seahawks theme team. But right there, it was basically if he was in man, I was probably going to throw the Texas route on the back side or I was going to throw the post route depending on where his user went. And if he was in zone, I was going to, if he was in that, that cover three zone, I was going to try to hit that seam uh, right at the middle. And we actually end up getting a big time touchdown in my opinion. And uh, on the defensive side of things, we've got to lock up a little bit and we, we've got to stand up for ourselves. Make sure we get off the field here 
Um, this is kind of a critical, um, in my opinion, this is kind of critical, cr critical deals here. And we're going to give him this corner route. Shoot. And we got lucky. He wasn't able to get his feet down. That was a tight bang bang play, but not really what we're not really what we're looking to to even make an, an option. Now he's going to single back uh, single back doubles here. He's going PA jet sweep. We're just going to run straight back here and just take everything away. We sent the spy, and we're able to get the half. So now coming out on defense, we at least have a one possession lead, which is nice. Um, that touchdown at the end of the half was huge. If it would have been a field goal, like it would have been okay, but we definitely would have been feeling the pressure, right? Now we can kind of relax a little bit on the defensive side of the ball, but we do have to take away the rollout. Make no mistake about that. It's the rollout, it's the crossing route, and then it's that post route coming up over the top of it. So um, what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to probably go to some type of two-man under coverage and basically take those two routes away with my with my drops or my zones and then try to basically use her um, the rest of it and obviously try to have a spy on the field so uh, we're gonna go to that and we're just going to take and there we go so he should be on that spy he's gonna play measure this guy up that's got to be an interception like we literally made him throw it in a triple coverage. Now you notice that he's his for whatever reason his cross routes are a little bit deeper, so we're gonna go ahead and drop those back at uh, at twenty yards uh, just to be safe here. And what we're gonna do right here is we're actually gonna use a rush him if we can. Yeah, just kind of shot it right at the end. Just wanted him to feel some pressure. You know, just 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 wanted him to feel some pressure. We sent six and got one free. Um, you know, nothing necessarily to it, honestly. Um, now we're going to do it again. And just force him to block us. He does block us, which is great. He's going to hit that slant. Um, but I just want him to feel the pressure. And what you're going to see is he's going to start to max protect. He's automatically rolling out, which is nice. Um, and so now what we can do is let's just send, let's just send a few people at him. And see what he does. He is going to have to throw it away. He gets out of the pocket, which is unfortunate i really don't i really don't like the fact that he's getting out of the pocket so easily on this and so we're gonna have to do something to keep him from rolling uh, that roll out to the right i just don't i don't like that look for the defense and so what we're gonna do uh is we're gonna roll uh, roll coverage here into basically do like a a cover three cloud but we're sending the guy so essentially what i'm gonna do is use this cover three cloud the thing is, I'm just gonna send this send this guy here, and what you see here, everything's taken away. We got a guy over there for this tight end route. We we should have came back down a little bit earlier because we kind of know that's his money play. Um, now he's gonna have to pass here, and so what that's gonna mean is we can play a little bit more passive, a little bit more, um, you know, just kind of in front of us here. So we're gonna have the I want to get the contains off here. We do. Throws right at our user, and we're able to get the stop, which was a big stop. I didn't feel like it was a great play call, but I felt like that was a product of what we did with the user rush, right? He was nervous about the user rush, and so he was throwing the ball quick, you know, wasn't really prepared. And now we kind of have uh, a little bit of an opportunity to break the play open here. Um, basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a one-on-one -on -one with Tyreek Hill. If we can get a one-on-one -on -one with Tyreek Hill, out here on the right side, um, this is going to be probably a one-play touchdown. It is. We're going to pass that up, click on, and Tyreek Hill is going to make a huge catch. I, I felt like I should have had a little bit more separation than that, um, but that's okay. It gives us exactly what we need to do, and um, now we need to go in here and get seven. Uh, Got to get seven here. This is critical. Um, just going to take the flats. He's been giving this to us all game long, and we're just going to be simple. Take the flats. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go to a simple route combination on this backside, um, simply trying to force him to play some type of man coverage um, here. He actually defends this really well. We're going to take a sack. I feel like his pass rush is really good with this. Um, but anyway, we're going to go to drive post in this situation. Kind of that same situation um, as that last third down. And just see, um, and he's going to give it to us again, that backside seam. And as you can see, we're able to get in for seven. And that's a huge touchdown. It's going to put us up by two possessions. 
put our defense in a key um, advantageous, a very advantageous position to be right now. Uh, we're going to get up two possessions, and essentially what you're noticing, he's going in between these cover twos and this man coverage. So we're able to call that uh, really nice little cover three beater right at the seam and be able to uh, effectively beat that. Now, really quick, before I jump off here, one of the things I wanted to say is if you guys want a sample of that ebook, you want a sample of the offensive guide. Um, we've had some people that have just said this is this thing has just really really helped them on the offensive side of the ball. And so, if you want to get a sample of that ebook, all you got to do is go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is eight one two two one six three six four four. Um, I believe it's the best offense in the game. Like I said, it's over 300 pages long. It's got over 36 formations broken down. If you want to just pick it up, you can pick it up in the description. If you want a sample formation, though, for it, something free uh, to check out from the ebook to decide whether or not you want to buy it, go ahead and text me. My number is 812-216-3644. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Hope you learned a little bit about some of the things I did right, but also some of the things I did wrong. Um, as well. And we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for watching today's video.